Welcome back to the vlog. Matt and Nathan had a BattleBots competition, and I should have filmed it, but I didn't, so I'm sorry. Um, and then we unboxed some Nintendo stuff that we ordered. Okay, so for the first time, we're doing like a legit tournament kind of thing. And uh, Tombstone, I was dominating Barnacle as the fake one, because we're giving him two chances, because he has two different weapons, and this one pops off pretty easy, because like if it hits anything, it pops upward. But... Then Nathan turned himself into a push bot. He forgot to even turn the screws on. Turn the screws on, like right as he, uh, as he did, he pushes me, and Tombstone got caught just right where it like went up this and like got like this where his wheels weren't touching the ground. So he beat me there, kind of getting lucky. And then I took this back piece right here off of Whiplash right away, and like it launched like clear up to there. Oh my! God. And then. It, so that one, I was like, okay, I'm going to end up winning one nothing. But then, like, right before, about halfway through the fight, he knocked this off, which is technically two pieces, and got the win there. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah. And that the pieces that came off of there, one of them flew, like, way up on the couch, like, halfway to Megan. So our next match is uh, Rusty and Sawblaze. And I'm Rusty, so Nathan's going to be 3-0, you know, pretty much guaranteed. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give Nathan the win on this because we both knocked two off. But unless I'm actively firing my weapon, and even when I do, that piece is, and I mean, it's even not that easy to get off. And his, it's like if you get, if you, turn your weapon off, bud. Like if you get it, like see, it ain't that hard to knock that off. And then one of them, he piled into the rails and knocked it off himself. So technically I knocked one off, he knocked off two. But that one was a lot closer than I expected, honestly. See, and given this configuration of Barnacles, a buy is kind of cheap, but now it does make it where there's four, because there's two of him, and then Hypershock and hey. Sawblaze. Who are you going to be in the first fight, bud? Uh, I think Barnacles against... Oh, you're going to be Barnacles? Okay, against who? Against... Against... Hypershock? Yeah. Exactly. I think Nathan might have just given himself his first loss. You're going to switch for configurations? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so so no pieces came off, but I'm going to give Nathan the win again. Because at one point, that piece was like up like that. And then also, he had he didn't get me in the back to knock that one off. But also, the front wedge was like like that at one point. So, And I do have to admit that getting this thing knocked off barnacles is actually really hard. So is the, the wedge. Um, it's going to be kind of interesting because technically, um, if now if the other configuration of Barnacles wins, uh, it's going to be an all Barnacles final, which can't happen. So um, we're going to switch configurations back. And Nathan, do you want to be this version of Barnacles or Sawblaze? I'm going to be Sawblaze. Of course, he's stacking the deck in his favor. I think, honestly, I think this and Sawblaze. I think Barnacles with this configuration is going to get it because that thing doesn't come off easy and neither does this. Guess we'll find out. Well, probably. Hey, my... Well, we did end up with an all Barnacles final because you got one, two, and that actually came off first. So you got three pieces off versus one, two pieces off. So we don't really have a way to do a final. I just thought, of, I just realized something. We got a rematch, bud. I forgot to put them back on. I, those come off incredibly easy, which is why I, was, I think is what my reasoning was behind Sawblaze is going to dominate. And I'm sitting here like, well, how on earth didn't Sawblaze dominate? I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Okay, so I was totally correct because, you know, now you got one, two, three. Where does the other side go? Oh, the side's still on. So three to just the two since the, they came off whole. But I realized I didn't have the orange pieces on in the Hypershock fight. So that means another rematch. So it'll probably end up being Hypershock Sawblaze is the final. All right, so I was right, because this is the only thing that came off Hypershock. And also, I overestimated this weapon, because it's like the back will pop off, then the gear doesn't align, so it makes it really easy to stop it. So now we do have Sawblaze Hypershock. Who, do you get, who are you going to be? Hype Sawblade! Who, who, who's who's Hype Sawblade, or whatever you said? It said him. Okay. The, the timer's not up, but... Hey, fire! Oh my God! Hey, is nothing will do anything. So that means hypers. 
Hypershock wins. He would have won anyway because he got this that he flung out of the arena, this that he flung out of the arena. And now that he's stuck in the screws, the back panel's off too. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting stuck. You're, you're done, bud. It's kind of funny. I didn't win anything until the final and then I won. Oh, God. It's Hold on. I don't know what's happening. It's really, really stuck. Oh, I see. What? It was the weapon and the cage for the weapon. Oh, my gosh. Well, two, one. I mean, you were stuck, so you lost. But I, I, A combination of bot picking and everything. He won every single fight until the final. But I know. And now I lost this one because you got me down. I don't know. I think that was just bad luck. That wasn't even necessarily a win. But, I mean, I had the piece advantage. Like, you would have to flip this one up off and break this off just to tie. We're going to unbox Matt's stuff he ordered. Not entirely sure what the point. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, Megan told me to do it. Because it was on sale. It's normally a hundred bucks, and I've like, I've always been like, that sounds kind of cool. And then for Mario Day, which the sale went through, like, April 7th, um, it was on for 60 And I mean, that ain't that bad, really. I kind of wish she would have let me get Luigi, but... This is kind of interesting, the way they box these. They must have these like this, so that if you order these by themselves, they can just throw a shipping label on it and go. Maybe, yeah. That's probably what it is. Because, I mean... But that's the thing, though, since I ordered two things like where in the fudge oh the end opens uh -huh. oh what the heck is there a box inside the box there's a box inside of a box and, oh it's just like a sleeve then this is actually why mario kart happened because i've been meaning to get one of these and they've been sold out and then i kind of had the thought i'm like if these come in stock where i can have the mario kart thing be in the same order I'll probably do it. This is why Nintendo's evil. Because, like, when they had, like, the Mario All 3D All-Stars thing, it's like they prey on nostalgia. And it's like, that's, like, they're, they're, they're cool, but they're actually really stupid. And there's actually zero point. And, like, especially this one. Because, like, I didn't even have a Sega growing up. Um... But when our family friend lived with me for a little while in Great Falls, he like, I think he came across it when his mom passed away in, in her house and was like, hey, do you want this? And brought me a Sega with some games. But it's just like, but also Nintendo, like, I have to look it up because there was like an April Fool's thing where they said something like that Sony bought Tesla and it's like, so that the, they could have like PlayStation games on the Tesla screen. Oh my God. But then it was like, it's, the car will only cost you a hundred thousand dollars or, uh, physical copy of metroid prime remastered so i don't know if that game's already having like stock issues or something but it's like with that super mario 3d all-stars when they were like where the physical release is only going to be for like six months that's like the last physical game i bought because i'm like they're they're forcing rarity for no reason and then like when the when they had like the nes mini thing not that long ago like nintendo creates false scarcity but then, like, Nintendo crap, like, always somehow, like, it could be the dumbest thing ends up worth money. So I'm like, oh, like, just like I did with the the Super Nintendo and the uh, NES ones, they're still in the box and plastic and everything. So, like, I use them and then just put them, put them back in when I'm done. Because it's, like, like on these, like, they don't, the boxes aren't sealed. So, I mean, you can take them out and use them. So as long as I don't, like, and I don't play Switch a ton, ton. So as long as, like, they don't get screwed up somehow like they could fall into that like being worth money but yeah i'm excited for this but yeah that's what i still find funny is like i remember the day they announced that genesis games were going to be on there because it's like genesis games are on a nintendo service and nintendo is selling a Nin sega genesis controller and the genesis era is when like their ad campaign was sega does what nintendo don't like it's like that's like Probably the most bitter rivalry portion of gaming history between two console makers. 
And now you can get that controller on a Nintendo console. It just shows how. That's weird. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> and imagine, like, if the Dreamcast wouldn't have flopped, like, Sega could be, like, Sega could have still been there. And, like, because they would have been competing with uh, Sony, Sega, and then kind of Nintendo. By then, they were already kind of doing their own thing. But, like, Xbox might not even exist. Because it's, like, if you're trying to come in and beat both PlayStation and Sega, like, that would have been a tough nut to crack. Interesting. I find it funny that the uh, Genesis controller is, like in the box like you can't see the actual controller and the n64 one is where you could like actually see the controller and so were the other ones that matt ordered like before i just find that funny so thank you for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to like comment subscribe share it with your friends and we'll see you in the next one